okay or pega application they are send the okay request to our application okay so this is the application whichever they are implemented in java okay so our application is also pega so that is the different thing so here one application to another application it doesn't have the any any proper communication how we can make the communication between the application so definitely we require one uh, universal language which is understand by all the languages so that is a commonly we are using in uh, web services that is a xml okay so here mostly in the so we are developing the i mean this kind of things by using xml only okay see here external application sending the request the request in the format of what xml and the whatever the send from the external application we will get in our application in the format of xml this xml we cannot do any we cannot perform any logic in our application so for that we have to convert this xml xml to uh, one clipboard page on clipboard properties see here we need a convert for the xml to the okay one clipboard so that is we call one stream rule what is that xml parse okay this xml parse rule convert to xml to clipboard okay and now have the data in the clipboard okay something customer id okay customer id i uh, means suppose you will take some uh, suppose you will sending from bank transaction something there is a card number and uh, bank uh, account number in along with this card details okay once we got this data then customer uh, or external application want to do any transaction okay so what they will do so along with this so you will get this data and they will will implement the logic that is an activity an activity take this request take this inputs from the clipboard and perform the logic and give some response that is a response in the clipboard and again we need to convert from the clipboard to xml okay and here we'll use xml stream rule xml stream rule this xml stream rule is convert into the xml and this xml we will send to the external application and this is how do we make the communication between the one application to another application see here we have to understand what are the steps we need to implement this soap service and first of all we required the steps step one we required service package what the service package will do it is it is not a rule it is it is okay instance and this instance have data regarding security authentication authentication and service okay see here we have to, this is a service package and this service package will hold these all this information once the request comes from the external application it will be goes to that what is a service package the service package which may have the number of services okay 
and it will be take the service and initiate this service for that request and here also we have to understand one thing if you want to do something if you want to do transaction or do something you have to enter the url for your application and your login credentials and take the access or login to your application and whatever your login and always this application will create a session for you for that requester what is a requester here the requester which is nothing but a session so session entire the session this session will be removed after you log on every time you log in a new session will be created for that user See here, and we are calling as a requester. Also, this external application is trying to connect to your application, and here also it will be create one requester. Okay, and here this requester what it contain access group. Okay, and like access roles, some authentication. Okay, and here based on these access, this requester. Can access something in our application. That that is a, that is the settings. Okay, uh, giving the access to the requester. The same thing. We are also give the request or authentication or providing the service. So what is the service for this requester? So first it will be check the security. That is security is a basic or authentication 2.0. Uh, like we have the securities and we have got the security okay from the external the valid secure valid or not and we'll check the auth authentication and uh, slide um, the access access for that and the next service and we'll initiate the service and it will be create one requester okay it will be create one requester It will be create one requester and this is the requester um, what happened here this is the request it can access it will, it will have some session it will have some duration also so it have the two ways generally you will see this requester for okay how we will manage in the service package Generally, you will see processing the request. There is a status and stateful. Okay, stateful will maintain the session. Suppose, what does it mean? The difference between the stateful and stateless. There is a requester created. Suppose you did some bank transaction. Okay, and uh, you did some transaction. And it is for the request. I have done the transaction and will update it into the database. Something is happening again. This requester want to get statements, then again it will be okay. Again, it will be used this session only. So instead of creating the new session, it's great uh, using this session only. So directly do this uh, okay logic and give the number of records to that application. Okay. So here that one requester okay which were for multiple operations here but here the state this is for stateful when it is a stateless what will happen at this time so here once the requester initiated okay and uh, checking that the request authentication and everything Calling the logic, okay, and to the database, getting the records, and once it is done, sending the response and close the and remove the request and remove the session. It is not maintain any session. Okay. That is what state. 
see how you are following this approach so based on the business requirement then you can implement or you can use whether it is stateful or stateless most will go with the stateless only for any kind of situation that you want to use then you can go ahead also state stateful and here there is the access because this request are executing some rules right executing some rules what what rules service and activity right that is the rule so definitely it requires some access group whether authenticated or they can able to act access or not okay i mean as good that rule so trying to understand here this uh, request some you give some access okay uh, so dk uh, implementation application also external user suppose this is the access group we will give your okay uh, some application some some application which are which are 010113 one, one, uh, only but we have while executing the service okay you have the activity in the service this activity which may be in the version okay 010104 but while this requester we have the 03 only but instead of 04 only 03 activity this version activity will only execute so because this all the requester we are giving the access or executing the tool for only this version because they don't have the access so that is what we maintain the access group for every requester which they they want they need to execute the tool so based on their access group see trying to understand here how we were implementing these things see first thing the service package so we can create or we can initiate uh, we can use it to create the services multiple services one single service package okay we can call the number of services from here we can give so for rest or whatever it is just a minute i will the chance here um, yeah. so let it be open the service this is the service and this is the, the data class okay i mean the primary primary class this is the primary page for activity primary page for this activity let it be open this activity and it's opening some record okay ct and phone number and it find it state to find it so from this page whatever it open the record it will be keep into this page from this page we are set the data into this primary on this box so what happens in service request you will see the request what are you doing here the request it will be convert into the clipboard map to clipboard take the property whatever we are sending the response see here xml stream rule convert into the xml whatever we got we are sending the response if you open this check this this is a one node inside the node we have this dot properties of this class so remember these team rules also we are creating on the same classes only okay so now Go to this service. Run it. So draw back. Right. 
what is it? Go to the new directory. One two three four five. We got the response. Yeah, we got the response. Okay. Got it, huh? So sure. I have uh, a stream rule converts clipboard properties so excellent these things you have to create these things here exit your logic that's it You understand these points so the design if you are we have, we have the visa app you can follow two approach to create the service what are those um, the first one we can use visa And another one, create manual. Okay. So while you create a manually, we have to follow these steps. Or else, if you want to go to the wizard, the wizard itself it will be create everything. You don't need to do anything. Okay. This is one. I said you right how to create with the wizard. Yeah. You understand that how that's you implement with the visa? I understand how the service being created, but when we are trying to do it through activity, uh, we just got confused uh, last time, right? We were trying to uh, OBJ browse, OBJ open, we used a couple of methods. It will be connect to the database and we get the records and it has to send the response, right? All right, let me do, ha have it to go on this See, as well or uh, whatever I have it done. Convert I will clipboard to XML. Clipboard to XML. Well, how we will convert from the clipboard to XML? Yes, yeah, sure. sure. 